let's just look at what's happened in the last 50 years. It's 30 years of the Premier League and the 20 years previous to that. If we look at that first City title there, which was basically 12 years ago, we've had five different winners of the Premier League, including Manchester City. Manchester City have won seven in 12. If we go back to the first 12 years of the Premier League, which is this here now, we only had three winners of the Premier League, Arsenal and Blackburn. Manchester United won eight out of 12. So Pep Guardiola has won seven out of 12, along with Mancini and Pellegrini in Manchester City. Manchester United under Sir Alex Ferguson, demonstrating what a great manager he was, won eight in 12. If we go back to 1972, when Liverpool won their first title, to 1984, when Bill Shankly, the boot room, if you like, Paisley and Fagan, they won eight in 12 as well. So this idea that English football is going to get ruined, we've seen this in four out of the last five decades, that great managers, great managers, some of the greatest of all time, will create periods of domination. And that's what we're seeing here now with City. With Pep Guardiola was to leave Manchester City, that would become a lot more difficult. And other, other teams are spending more money than them at this moment in time. So it would start to equalise. And of course, the backdrop to this, the, the elephant in the room, if you like, and, and fans of other clubs are very quick to, to point out, if we don't, is that the Premier League are taking to task their own champions for 115 alleged breaches of financial regulations between 2009 and 2018. Jamie, is it, is it concerning when you hear and, and read reports that this is not going to get resolved? anytime soon it is because Manchester City and rightly so they defend themselves they say they're innocent of all charges but if you're innocent of all charges why do people keep saying we're going to be kicked the can down the road this is going to go on for two to four years Manchester City don't want this Man City supporters don't want it the Premier League don't want it it's not good when we're talking about one of the greatest teams that we've seen of all time in the Premier League and managers that there's this almost asterisk above it until this is sorted out. So my message to Manchester City would be this needs to get sorted sooner rather than later just for your own reputation because there's no doubt about it. If Manchester City get a guilty on this, all this that we're talking about will be tainted. There's no doubt about that. And in terms of Pep Guardiola, all you've said in the last four or five years, other teams have spent more. Yes, you're right. But to get to the point to entice Pep Guardiola, the best in class manager they could get, the best in, in Big Eristan, the whole Barcelona model was built for him. So he's actually more important than buying Erlen Haaland. They brought Pep Guardiola to the club on the back of these charges that are there. So these needs answering sooner rather than later. And we can't be waiting two to four years because that is just a mess for Man City, but also everybody else competing in the Premier League. That, that is certainly what the reports seem to be suggesting. It's a bizarre situation, Gary. Um, what, what's your take on it? Look, I, I, I want to deal with first FFP. I, I've got a real problem with FFP. I've had it for a long time. It was driven through by the established elite so that clubs like City, clubs like Chelsea couldn't compete with them so that basically they could always sort of pat them on the head and say, stay down there. No one ever complains about Jack Walker buying the league 30 years ago. FFP wasn't in at that point, but no one ever complains about that. And I think a new Jack Walker of any town should be able to basically drive their team, Sunderland, your team, Dave. I'd like the idea that Sunderland one day could ch compete for the Champions League and compete for the Premier League title again. But if under FFP you're only allowed to spend the money that your revenue allows you, you'll always be maintained down there. So I don't like the rule to start. So I've got some sympathy with City on that particular point. However, if the rules are in place, you have to abide by them. And there is no doubt that for Manchester City, their owners and their executive, if these some of the most serious charges of those under 115 were to be brought forward and they were to be proven guilty of them, the damage would be long-lasting and it would be tainted. However, on the other side, I must mention that if the Premier League were not to actually see through these charges, the damage to their executive would be equally long-lasting as well. There is a massive pressure moment coming in the next couple of years and there is something that really isn't going to go away until it's dealt with. And I have to say, if they can accelerate it forward, and you need due process and law, you've got to let it take its course. But this is a sporting situation. It's not a criminal situation as in sort of what would be, if you like, a normal course. Let's move it forward and try and get it as closed as quickly as possible. Well, just a reminder what Manchester City said at the time when, when the charges came. The club welcomes the review of this matter by an independent commission uh, to impartially consider the comprehensive body of irrefutable evidence that exists in support of its position. As such, we look forward to this matter being put to rest once and for all.